Hi friends, in this video we are going to see how to solve a problem based on a solution theorem whenever there are dependent as well as independent sources are given in the circuit. So here is the problem. In this problem, we are having one, two, three independent sources and one dependent source. So let's list what are the sources present in the circuit. So 75 volt, 5 ampere, and 150 volt are the independent sources given in the circuit. And the only dependent source is this. 1 by 3 Vx, it's a voltage source and it depends upon the voltage only. So it's a voltage controlled voltage source. So this is the only dependent source present. So as we know in a supervision theorem for dependent sources, you will take one independent source at a time replacing other by their internal resistances and we are not touching the dependent source at all while doing the analysis of any of the independent source. So let's start with the 20, repeat. So let's start with the 75 volt. So whenever I consider 75 volt, 5 ampere will be open circuited being the current source, 150 will be short circuited. So this branch will go and this will be replaced with the wire so we will get a circuit that we need to redraw so let's consider 75 volt acting alone so what we'll do for a 5 ampere 5 ampere will be open circuited And another voltage source that is 150 volt will be short circuited. So there will be change in the circuit. So let's read out the circuit by considering these changes. Remember, we have not touched the dependent source at all, which is 1 by 3 Vx. This is 10 ohm, 15 ohm, 30 ohm, and 75 volt. With the Vx is this. Let's encircle polarity given by them so that it will not get confusion with the polarity that we are going to mark now depending upon the current flowing through the register. So let's consider this is I1 and this is I2 with the polarities plus minus plus minus over here so plus minus and plus minus. So let's apply KVL to mesh 1. Let's start from the voltage source minus plus so it's the plus 75 plus minus minus 30 I1. I will just concentrate on the polarity that we mark. So the green ink polarity that is plus minus minus 15 I1 and over here minus plus which is plus 15 I2 equal to 0. So I will get a very straightforward equation upon solving I will get minus 45 I1 plus 
फिफ्टीन आई टू इक्वल टू माइनस सेवेंटी फाइव एज इक्वेशन नंबर वन सिमिलरली वी आर गोइंग टू राइट द इक्वेशन फॉर मेस टू So let's start from this register plus minus, which is minus ten i two plus minus minus one by three v x plus minus minus fifteen i two and minus plus plus fifteen i one equal to zero. Once again, we have just taken the polarity that we got because of the currents in the register. So over here. We need a substitution for v x. V x is the voltage across fifteen ohm, which is nothing but by Ohm's law fifteen multiplied by current flowing through it. Now there are two loop currents flowing through it. I one downward, I two upward. So definitely there is a subtraction, but which current will be more will be decided by polarity given by them. So their polarity is matching with the polarity that we obtain because of the I one. Hence I one is a dominating current, and I can say I one minus I two is the resultant current flowing through 15 ohm resistor to get the V X as 15 I one minus I two. So we get a substitution equation for V X. If I put over here, what I will get? Minus 10 I2 minus 1 by 3 V X is 15 I1 minus I2. Remaining terms are minus 15 I2 plus 15 I1 equal to zero. We can cancel out this and make it five. So what we'll get over here? Minus ten i two minus five i one plus five i two minus fifteen i two plus fifteen i one equal to zero. So let's write i one terms first. Minus five i one plus fifteen i one will give us ten i one minus ten plus five will give us minus five minus five and minus fifteen will give us minus twenty. So minus twenty i two equal to zero as equation number two. Two equations, two unknowns will give us the value of I one and I two. So we'll get the value of I one as two ampere. And value for I two as one ampere. Remember, we want V X to find out. So V X is nothing but fifteen I one minus I two from this equation. So upon simplifying, we'll get V X as fifteen two minus one, which is nothing but a fifteen ohm. And this is because of the one source acting alone, so V X dash will be the suffix. So we get the answer V X as 15 volt just by considering the effect of 75 volt acting alone. Let's go ahead and take the effect of 5 ampere. Now 5 ampere is acting alone. Beside 5 ampere, there are two. Independent sources, both of them are the voltage sources, so 75 volt and 
155 volt are short circuited so in the original circuit what are the changes that we need to incorporate over here this will get replaced with a wire this will get replaced with the wire being short circuited so we need to redraw the circuit by considering this effect the circuit will look like this So this is a 5 ampere which is the only independent source acting in the circuit with this dependent source and this Vx the polarity given by them will maintain that as it is. So this is a Vx. Now there are three meshes over here. I1. This is I2. And this is I3. And the voltage drops are like this. So we are ready to apply KVL to the circuit now but there is a current source between mesh 1 and mesh 2 so we need to write the equation of current source which is present between mesh 1 and mesh 2 of the value 5 ampere and currents over here are like this this is i1 this is l2 so it's quite obvious that this is matching with i1 so i1 minus i2 equal to 5 ampere as equation number one we will get now second equation will obtain by applying kvl to super mesh which is a combination of mesh 1 and mesh 2 by bypassing the current source so plus minus minus 30 i1 plus minus minus 50 i1 50 i2 we are just concentrating on the polarity that marked by us minus plus plus 15 i3 equal to zero a very straightforward equation we get over here as equation number two third equation we will get by applying kvl to mesh three plus minus minus 10 i3 plus minus minus one by three vx plus minus minus 15 i3 minus plus plus 15 i2 equal to 0 we need a substitution for vx so substitution equation vx is a voltage across 15 ohm and that is nothing but a 15 once again the same theory this polarity is matching with this polarity caused by the i2 and one more current is there i3 so 15 i2 minus i3 this time so if i substitute over here i will get let's write this as minus 10 i3 minus 1 by 3 into 15 i2 minus i3 minus 15 i3 plus 15 i2 equal to 0 so i can cancel this and upon simplifying we will get minus 10 i3 
माइनस फाइव आई टू प्लस फाइव आई थ्री माइनस फिफ्टीन आई थ्री प्लस फिफ्टीन आई टू इक्वल टू जीरो द ओनली थिंग लेफ्ट ओवर हियर इज टू रीअरेंज दिस इक्वेशन प्रॉपरली सो आफ्टर डूइंग सो वी विल गेट दिस माइनस फाइव आई टू प्लस फिफ्टीन आई टू विल बी टेन आई टू माइनस टेन आई थ्री प्लस फाइव आई थ्री विल गिव अस माइनस फाइव आई थ्री एंड माइनस फिफ्टीन आई थ्री ऑलरेडी देयर सो विल गेट माइनस ट्वेंटी आई थ्री इक्वल टू जीरो एज इक्वेशन नंबर थ्री सो हियर यू आर हैविंग थ्री इक्वेशंस अपॉन सॉल्विंग दिस विल गेट द वैल्यूज ऑफ आई वन आई टू आई थ्री सो विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई वन एज वन एम पी I2 as minus 4 ampere and I3 as minus 2 ampere. Remember, we want a voltage Vx as the final answer. So from this Vx is 15 I2 minus I3. So if you put the values of I two and I three will get V X as minus thirty volt. This is because of the second source. So V X double dash is the suffix I use to denote this answer. So analysis for five ampere is over for this solution theorem problem. Let's go ahead with a one fifty volt voltage source. What we have to do for the remaining sources? So first is a 75 volt. We will short circuit it because internal resistance is zero and 5 ampere internal resistance is infinite. So 5 ampere is open circuited. So in the original circuit over here, we will consider the effect of 150 only. This is shorted. This is open. So we will get only two loop circuit like. And Vx is over here, man. So here there are two loops having the current say I1, I2. Voltage drops because of this currents are this way. So we are ready to apply KVL to the meshes. So let's apply KVL to mesh one. So plus minus minus thirty I one plus minus minus fifty I one minus plus plus fifty I two equal to zero. Simplification will give us. Minus forty-five I one plus fifteen I two equal to zero as equation number one. Let's apply KVL to mesh two now. Let's start from the source plus minus minus one fifty plus minus. Minus ten I two plus minus 
minus 1 by 3 vx plus minus minus 15 i2 minus plus plus 15 i1 equal to 0 we need a substitution equation for vx so vx is the voltage across 15 ohm given by ohm's law 15 multiplied by current flowing through it once again there are two currents i1 i2 Pol polarity given by them is matching with the polarity that obtained by i1 so i1 is dominating over i2 so in the end vx is 15 i1 minus i2 so if i substitute over here we will get minus 150 minus 10 i2 minus 1 by 3 into 15 i1 minus i2 minus 15 i2 plus 15 i1 equal to 0 so 3 5 is a 15 after simplification we will get minus 150 minus 10 i2 minus 5 i1 plus 5 i2 minus 15 i2 plus 15 i1 equal to 0 let's simplify minus 5 i1 plus 15 i1 will give us 10 i1 minus 10 i2 plus 5 i2 will be minus 5 i2 so minus 10 i2 plus 5 i2 is minus 5 i2 adding with the minus 15 i2 will give us minus 20 i2 and the constant minus 150 will go that side become plus 150 that is equation number 2 so here we are having two equations upon solving we will get the values of i1 and i2 So we'll get the value of I1 as minus 3 ampere and value of I2 as minus 9 ampere. What we're supposed to find out? We have to suppose to find out the value of Vx. Vx is given by 50 I1 minus I2. So if I substitute this value, I will get Vx as 90 volt and this is because of the third source acting alone. Now we got three values of Vx depending upon which source is acting. Now the total effect of the three sources is nothing but a algebraic sum of all the three voltages that we obtain. So what we got as a Vx dash, we got a Vx dash as 15 Vx double dash we obtain as minus 30 and Vx triple dash we obtain as 90. So if I solve this I will get the answer as 75 volt. So by supervision theorem, the Vx voltage developed because of all the three sources acting individually is nothing but 75 volt. I hope you understood the problem. Thank you.